Nightingale Island and nearby Tristan da Cunha are some of the remotest islands in the world, over a thousand miles in any direction from inhabited lands. As such, these were some of the least polluted environments on Earth. That was until last week when the MV Oliva sailing from Brazil crashed headlong into the island and spilled over 800 tons of fuel oil into the sea. Nightingale Island is a vital breeding ground for the already endangered northern rockhopper penguin, and now the island's entire population is at risk. I arrived over a week after the incident had occurred, and yet I was still among the very first humans to see the full extent of this horrific event. I saw hundreds of rockhopper penguins covered in sticky black fuel oil. Several of them were preening themselves, trying to get the oil off their feathers, and in the process ingesting the oil, which is poisonous to the birds. Fortunately, a relief crew arrived a few days ago from South Africa, but still, there are only a dozen of them, and they are confronting a tragedy that is far beyond the scope of a few hands. Luckily, yesterday, over 750 fuel-covered penguins were collected and are in the process of being cleaned now. There's an added element of tragedy for the people of Tristan, a population of less than 300, who have always prided themselves in the pollution-free state of their islands. I also noticed several baby fur seal pups born this last season with patches of oil on their fur and with obvious effects from the spill. Still, it's the penguins who take priority since they are endangered. The remaining population has been penned in to prevent them from going back into the sea. This was such a difficult thing to witness and I hope that I never have to see it again.